Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Tonight we have right here the brand new Toyota CHR 2024 version and in this video we will do the test drive in the nighttime and we will see the ambience, we will see the lights and we will talk a little bit about the car. Wonderful car, wonderful lights. As you probably noticed already, it comes with this super nice light playing on the rear here with Toyota CHR beautiful beautiful lights I really really like it and also every time you open it even the high beam the matrix LED lights from the front have a nice beautiful playing light but more about that I have a separate video on my channel if you want to see it check it out guys now let's go inside and let's drive the car more details about the car technical data and all that stuff interior exterior material quality space all that stuff you will find out in a separate video full review where you can find everything about the car by the way if you are in Romania and Bucharest check out Toyota Bucharest South I will leave the link in the description also on the screen if you want to buy the car see the car test drive the car check them out totally deserve it let me put the seat belt press the brake and here is the start stop engine system look at the lights it has a nice playing light when you start the engine and now we will drive it it comes with all kind of safety feature comfort feature heated seats heated windshield heated steering wheel ambient light you can see the ambient light on the side those lights bar on the door you can kind of customize it actually if you go here to the settings let me show you guys if you go here to the uh, where is it not display general setting not general setting where are, where, where, where? Um, uh, 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 ah vehicle customization illumination and here you can choose between plenty of colors white beige yellow orange red you can have red inside magenta magenta pink purple you have like violet blue light blue turquoise is my favorite color green light green and you can even customize it how you like it so i will leave it on green green it's also cool green or turquoise i think it's the most beautiful color it comes with a new multimedia system that we will talk about in a separate video it comes with physical button for climatic system all those stuff are included in this version the version that we will drive tonight is the gr sport version it comes with a two liter petrol engine a full hybrid one petrol engine two electric motors one electric motors on the rear one on the front is the all-wheel drive version I don't want to give you too much information about the car because it doesn't even matter which version it is what it's matter is just driving in the nighttime to see the ambient light the car come also with this new digital cockpit that looks just phenomenal in the nighttime it's very helpful you can customize it you can choose whatever setting you want I can also for example reset the consumption so we will see what kind of consumption we will get in the end so it's a super useful cockpit head-up display directly on the windshield this is the light that you can see right now this is the low beam this is the high beam low beam high beam you can see it's super visible but anyway we will drive a little bit the car and we will make an idea so we will go and drive right now you heard probably already how the handles goes inside so that's quite quite nice also I drive the car a little bit today and I noticed that it's very silent inside the ca cabin it's a very very silent car the sound insulation is great uh, also the ambient the seats are great you have a very nice driving position with great great visibility from my point of view super super car now what is important for me how is the low bin and the high bin in the night time and from what I see in this moment it's that it's it's wonderful even though illuminate on the side the lights stay low this is good for other traffic participant and the great part is that it goes 
all the way on the left side so we can see very clear it's probably one animal or something on the ground cat or dog will come you can see them very clear so the light seems to be very bright and very good so this is the top of the range version that comes with matrix LED light I'm not sure I have to check if the base is entry level uh, CHR will come with the same lights or it will come with some basic lights but we will check this out probably I will do a video separate video about that as well now actually I have to reset this and I can start another navigation it's it's wonderful I tell you it's really really good also it comes with auto hold function you have here the button the car will stay for you you don't have to press the brake all the time uh, it has also a super nice graphic right here energy flow that shows you what happened with the energy how much battery you still have uh, the rear uh, motor it's behind uh, it's between the, the wheels on the rear and the, the motor right here it's integrated in the front in the transmission and then you have the petrol engine on the front wheel so it will drive the petrol engine drive the front wheel on the rear you have just the power from the from the motor but I noticed that the grip on the ground when you accelerate it's very good and boy the lights are, are great also you have a nice tall driving position so you have such a good visibility in the front there so from this point of view it's it's really good let me go on the right side because here people usually want to drive they drive too fast but you can see the light here because it's quite bright a little bit forward will be even more brighter so we can see even better it's it's very pleasant I turn on the heating on the seats and I I already notice how pleasant it is and how warm they are everywhere and also on the steering wheel and I notice that the steering wheel it's hitting even up on the upper side and this is also good and even on the down part so everywhere it's heated this is great surprisingly you have also a good visibility up here in the mirror as you probably see this is also a mirror but also the mirror transform in a camera because you have two cameras on the on the rear car in the in the back of the car and then one of the camera it's used for this uh, inside mirror and you can see that even in the night time the mirror and the brightness it's quite good I can see very clear the cars and I can kind of anticipate the distances it's quite quite good and usually the cameras are not that good in the nighttime but this one it's quite good you can see how nice and pleasant I can't believe I'm in a, inside a Toyota it, it's really really nice I love those this this strip of light here make you feel special make you feel different I don't know I really like it I have to say that I, I, I really really like them you can see now we have half battery the car will always try to keep the battery in the middle there you can see that in the front you can choose to have a nice graphic there that shows you what happened with uh, with the battery with the energy in real time the head-up display directly on the windshield it's also pretty pretty clear and nice integrated there I like it I, I really like I like what they did with uh, the digital the new digital screen look great also every time when you change the driving mode the car come with free driving modes plus the custom mode you can customize how you like to drive the car so every time you change it for example in sport mode they will look different with red not super different but they will have kind of the red uh, background and then normal will be like gray and echo uh, will be like um, like kind of a green bluish green but but really interesting it's a little bit of traffic right now I think we will stay in traffic here for a while but I hope not that long 
Anyway, in the meanwhile, I have some time to explain you a few technical things about the car. So the car come, uh, as I said, with this 2-liter petrol engine, 4 cylinders in line, plus 2 electric motors. The total power of the car 198 horsepower. It's more than enough power to go on the highway and more than enough power and smart systems that you can drive in the city without any problem and to have a great emissions and great consumption and uh, about the consumption I will test it next days also I will have some videos separate video with consumption so if you want to find out if you want to see it check it out next days guys there you will find a lot of useful information about the car but surprisingly um, I'm inside the car a lot of traffic it's silent inside I like that another thing that I notice even though I have the climatic system on and around me a lot of fossil cars like thermal cars with combustion engine usually you feel that smell of gasoline or diesel but inside this one I don't feel anything that that translate in the very good filters so the car have very good filtration system so that I don't feel any yeah and it's it's from outside this is inside this is from outside I don't feel any any gas from outside this is great so the filters are good as well other than that the armrest it's perfect you have also a strip of light right here in front you can see sometimes it's kind of pulping also the car come with all that safety features like lane assist and you can activate them from the steering wheel from here you just press this press a button and then the car activate all those safety features and right now lane assist i mean the autopilot lane assist uh, will hold the car between the lanes, accelerate, brake, depending what speed you choose and depending what the car in front will do. You can choose also the distance from here from you and the car in front. And just like that, select this and you can set those and the car will do the job for you. So super cool safety features. and. Um, the great part is that I test it on all the new Toyota cars and this autopilot system it's really really good now I can stop the heating on the steering wheel and here we have also the heating on the seats you have the automatic you have all the physical buttons here they are so easy to use just go up and down super easy I love how they place everything it's so ergonomic and so good you have also some extra space here and down there and up here you have some lights oh those lights are really cool you see it how cool is that really cool lights we can also drive like that for a while and right now the autopilot is activated so we will keep the car between the lanes will accelerate brake do the job for us I think until the next traffic sign uh, lights here and then we will be no more so much so many cars so we just have to wait until until here and then we'll we'll be perfect very nice very nice pleasant pleasant driving feeling it it feels quite premium the car and i think it's a they they made a step forward in comparison with the previous model i think this one has better quality and better driving feeling than the previous here also you have some lights by the way if you want to see this okay this plenty of light inside the, the cabin The steering wheel feel also great as quality wise it has very very good quality and 
Now I hope we can reach this. We can pass these traffic staffing lights, and then we'll be better. I like very much how silent is the engine and how smooth is the transition between the electric motors and the engine. Everything is smooth and nice. The insulation between the engine and the cabin is very good. And also the exterior of the car with the interior of the car, very, very good insulation. Suspension wise as I said also in the in the other test drive I said that the suspensions are great I think they did a great job also with the suspensions Right now just brake slowly and the car will recuperate the energy back into the battery you can see also the graphic there and you can see also the lights in the front it's pretty powerful the light I, I, I kind of think it's it's a good quality light a little bit forward I think it's a little bit more darker so we can see even better in the dark how the light look like see here is darker no more light and we can see clear wow it's good man the light is good it's bright it's very bright I like the way it looks definitely definitely really it's 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 really good it's better than the previous version definitely better too bad I cannot use right now the high beam because there are so many cars everybody go home from work right now at this time but we will go on the other side and I think on the other side there are not so many cars maybe I can test also the high beam doing so good over the bumps so visibility is good the the high position of driving it's great because you have such a good visibility we have 6.7 liter consumption until now but everything it's left and even right the light goes all the way on the right side so you can see even on the side of the road
head up display it's pretty clear and nice integrated and it's dimming quite quite nice on the windshield and also it shows you the directions from the navigation this is also pretty cool very useful even the lights behind the, the buttons are very dimmed it's a white light but it's dimmed so it doesn't bother you in the night time you can drive without any problem and the light it's pleasant again two times so I think wow the steering it's it's light it's nice I like that you have two two settings for the steering wheel sport or normal or echo and right now in this moment it's it's kind of on the echo mode that mean normal so it's much more softer so it's it's really pleasant here we have to go left and here we can test definitely test the high beam so you can see the high beam light right now is the low beam I want to go on the right side and you can see the high beam oh quite nice I like it it's definitely powerful I don't want to drive too fast I want that the cars in the front to go that we can test it again the high beam and you can see it definitely because this is the last car and after this car you can see the blind spot technology in the corners after this car is no more other car in the back so we can test the high beam a little bit and we can see also how the lights look like but it's wow look how bright it is even on the left side it goes all the way on the side so it's it's pretty bright the light and i like that very much it's very very useful yeah the other cars are farther away look at this this is a high beam this is the low beam high beam oh super good Wow, it's so bright and so, so good, the light. I like it. Anyway, now we can drive a little bit faster. definitely a premium car from my point of view the driving feeling it's like driving a premium car a good quality car and I think there there, there will be so many people that they already own a CRV right now that they want to change with this one because I feel like it's a step forward it's, it's pretty pretty big step forward in terms of design in terms of driving feeling and a lot of stuff I, I really really like the car I like also this little stall here it's placed perfectly here
nice driving feeling driving uh, position driving position it's pretty good and visibility is good steering grip everything it's placed really nice even the screen it's placed nice and in the nighttime like right now if I turn off this the lights doesn't bother me at all I mean I can drive like that for many kilometers right now you can see the multimedia system it's in night mode in dark mode and it's quite nice the way it is doesn't bother me at all so I can drive the car without any problem like that for long distances in the night time and look at this you can start first from the traffic light See, ah, by the way, the transmission is the ECVT transmission, zero speed, everything is linear, like an electric car. to drive it and it's, it's the car it's so smooth it, it feels really wonderful Even over those big bumps, the car it's, stays so good. The suspension are super good. What? I have a better consumption than today when I did the test drive earlier. I had 5.9 liters today and right ah, right now I think I have to go a little bit forward or definitely yeah, maybe I go a little bit further away. I have like 5.1 liter right now and a little bit earlier today I have like 5.9 liter so whew, that's 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 definitely great I have to find a place to park here maybe a little bit forward yeah or maybe we go here back to the parking lot anyway Okay, let me definitely park it here. Right here, just like that. Going in reverse, it's so easy. Let's see the cameras in reverse. The camera in reverse is also quite clear, even though it's night. Um, you have a pretty good view there. Also, it comes with sensors, parking sensors, front, rear super nice and the front camera it's also quite good nice even in the night time you have a pretty good view press the park 
turn on the lights and that was the video guys i hope you enjoy it i hope you get some useful information 5.1 liter was the consumption for our trip and yeah definitely definitely a very nice car with some uh, great lights and great driving feeling love it if you want to see the review test drive all that other videos with the same car check it out on the channel if they are not already there they will come soon so stay close also if you want to see the car if you're in romania bucharest check out toyota bucharest south i will leave the link in the description also on the screen you can check them out very nice people you can already drive and buy the car if you want to so check them out thank you for watching stay safe don't forget to like share subscribe guys i would really appreciate that thank you very much to all of you that are watching my videos and i guess i see you soon in the next one bye guys